do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Lose it all. Welcome to Frankfurt's Deutsche Bank Park, 
My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got a Bundesliga game for you on the way. It's Eintracht Frankfurt and they take on Freiburg. Thanks, Guy. I'm anticipating a good match today. It's important they get off to a good start, play their way into the game, be confident on the ball, and hopefully we won't be disappointed. And the attack is over. Good defending. This is how the hosts line up. Yeah, it's a 3-4-2-1, and this is quite a narrow formation, so it's key that the two wing-backs provide the width. The front three, I'm sure they'll combine and attack, and maybe another midfielder join in as well. This is the lineup for the visitors. Well, it does look to be a 3-4-2-1, and the flexibility in this will be provided by the wing-backs. The two midfielders can help in both defence and attack, and they'll look to dominate that midfield battle. Gregoric. That set up the chance. Untidy in possession there. Doan. Maximilian Eggerstein. Goalkeeper asserts himself well there to get to the ball. Ansgar Knau. Tuta. Kalajic. Van der Beek. And unable to retain possession. Now, there could be something on in a moment. And the promise of something happening is over. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Donny van der Beek. This could be threatening. Put into the box. Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Eggerstein. Christian Gunter. Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. What a chance here! Good, sir. Great chance here! It's in! 1-0! And that could change the shape of the game! Ginter. Gunter. And can he get the cross in? That's really well played, halting the attack. And it's been cut out, there's the turnover. Promising looking ball, what can they do from here? Chance for the equaliser. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone. So away we go then for the second half. Has to be. The keeper quick to get across and make the save. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made of his performance, Sue? 
Yeah, and I think he's had a really good first half. Not only his goal, which he took well, but his overall performance. I'm sure he'll look to continue that in the second half. Maximilian Eggerstein. And it's on now. Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Goethe. And Scott Canal. And a And he's won the ball to stop the goal. Oh, could be a chance here. Can he finish? And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. Short corner it is. Needs to do better next time, much better. Ritsu Doha. Maximilian Eggerstein. Doan. Moving forward under no real pressure. Puts it back. Griffo. Griffo. And it's in. The goal to get us back to level pegging. Oh, that's superb technique to get past. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Forward progress continues. Picks out a teammate. For the lead now. No need to worry about that effort for the keeper. Donny van der Beek. That's a good tackle and a throw in to come. Mario Goetze. And that was probably the right pass, but hit with too much on it. Not so much given away as cleverly won. No stopping him yet. And this could be. Everything about that tackle had to be right. Real opportunity. And there's the goal to put them in front. Vincenzo Grifo. And this is a positive move as they seek that equaliser. Great chance here. That was the moment, and it's gone. Well, what a chance right at the death. I'm not sure they'll get another before the final whistle as good as that. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. A move of real promise now. Eggerstein. Is this the equaliser? It just needed the finishing touch. A nice move ends there. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives. There wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserve the result, in my opinion. season Just like a 
another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season from the Autostadt, the motor city, Wolfsburg, we're here at the Volkswagen Arena. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Wolfsburg. Must be! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, opting for the short corner. Goretzka. He had to react, and did. Spot on with that tackle.
and a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how oh, they might they... score here, Stuart. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. This attack looks highly promising. Wonderful chance. They just couldn't stay in front, and now this match is all square. Well, Bayern have it back now. A chance to whip it in. It's a perfect challenge. A free kick decision going the way of Bayern. Harry Kane losing out in that little battle. Goretzka. And intercepts again. Jonas Vint. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. It's there for him. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Jamal Musiala. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. But they took care of the situation defensively. A cut back. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Oh, disappointing clearance. Can he convert? And able to close down the shot. Oh, skipping away. Now, can he get on the end of this one? Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Corner for Bayern then. Sané. Chupomotin. Wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Leon Goretzka. Bayern pushing forward with options available. Really clever pressing. Kane, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Lovro Maia. Brilliant pass. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Jamal Musiala. And at this juncture, the ref. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. And with that, the attack fizzles out. could level it oh but the keeper with an important save how important is that well he should score from there that's a wasted opportunity he should beat the keeper from that sort of distance and possession lost by Wolfsburg just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack and it's still on for him oh a brilliantly timed tackle when it really mattered
Well, he's been the standout for a side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. And a goal here for Bayern. It's going to be so difficult to thwart them now. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. What a stop it was! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Oh, it's one of the saves of the season from Sven Ulreich. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Lovro Meyer. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Shupomoting. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Thiago Tomas. Safe pair of hands, did his job. And passing it through. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Superbly read and executed. I've not. It. Well, the defenders know they need to get top. You won't see many better stops than that. All right. Who can he pick out? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Takes it on. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. And a good take under duress there. Czerny. Rogerio. On the ball in an attacking position. But they've got to do something positive quickly. Ten minutes to go. Could be a chance to break here. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a finale this will be. They've had so many chances throughout the game, but they just need to find a composed finish in the dying moments. They've certainly deserved something from this game, but time is running out. That is a tackle and a half. Leroy Zane. Goretzka. And there goes the final whistle. It's got... Certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance.
power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides. Well, conditions really couldn't be any better here tonight. A very warm welcome to you on this fine evening. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined for commentary by Sue Smith, and we've got live Bundesliga action on the way. It's Werder Bremen, and they play Wolfsburg. Yeah, cheers, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly, but I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully, I've not just cursed it. Now, there could be something on in a moment. Well, he had a clear view of that and made the save easily. Here's how Wolfsburg line up. Well, it's a 5-3-2 on paper, but it will shift to a 3-5-2 when they have the ball. The wing-backs are so important in this formation. They've got the responsibilities in both defending and attacking. Vint. It's no surprise who we've picked out to have a look at here. What should we expect today, Sue? Well, he's a unique talent, isn't he? The way he can beat defenders, he can dictate the tempo of the game. Suddenly, when he gets on the ball, fans get off the seats. Such an exciting, entertaining player. I can't wait to watch him today. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Chops inside now. And it's on now. Great save. That's what he's there for. I just don't think he can believe that that's not got in, but he's met his match with the keeper. His superb reactions kept that one out. it back and there's the first goal of the match deadlock broken so it's 1-0 as the ball gets rolling again and the game stops with the award of a free kick They've got themselves a corner now. It's played in now. Well, they could still do something here. Crucial defending. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. And it's just a matter of keeping concentration now. Got room to operate in here. Marvin Dutch. A little sloppy on the ball there. They're getting into a good position. That's going to be a free kick, and in a promising position, too. And it's hit the bar. And the attack comes to an end. Disappointing. Thiago Thomas. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. Matthias Stanberg. Well, speculative effort. And that's going to be it. Off we go. The second half underway. A move of real promise developing.
Options available in the middle. A promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. There's a chance for the breakaway here. Ball taken away from them. Dutch doesn't want to lose it now and he's done really well to keep that out Jonas Vint well he's made his mark on the game proving particularly hard to play against he's causing problems yeah he's looked really sharp out there hasn't he certainly took his goal well and would have had another if not for the woodwork he's obviously been the difference between the two sides so far And the attack is over. Really good defending. Need to get tighter here. Goes for goal! And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. A short corner taken here. Pulls it back. It's in! And this game isn't lost or won just yet. And superb technique to get past his man. In the right position to cut out the pass. There's a chance for them to go now. My word, that was close. That is a really good counter, Guy. It went from defence to attack so quickly. He just couldn't quite finish it off. Dutch. Making decent progress here. And they want to see a shot here. And the shot thwarted. It's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick. Vint. And able to come away with the ball. This is a positive move as they seek that equaliser. Chance for the equaliser. Kept out, but for how long? Oh, that's been won really smartly. They're getting into a good position. Oh, a great chance. Brilliant work by the man in goal. That's a top stop. It's a corner, and it feels like this has to go in. Good-looking ball played in. Unable to find anyone with that. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. Dutch. Spanberg. And that brings an end to the match. With disappointment felt in the away end, it's three points drop. It's a real below par performance from them. They never really got going, did they? They certainly need to move on quickly and pick up for the next game.
Well, hello to you and welcome to another exciting game brought to you by EA TV. My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And we've got live Bundesliga action on the way. It's Hoffenheim and they play Wolfsburg. Well, thanks, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's going to be a really good game today. Both teams will be well up for it. So hopefully we're in for a treat. Good work to regain possession. This is the Hoffenheim lineup. It certainly looks like a 5-3-2 out of possession, but a 3-5-2 when they're in possession. They will look to stay compact when they don't have the ball, and the distance between the units, I'm sure, will be small. Need to be clinical, though, when they do go forward. This is the lineup for the visitors. Yeah, and it looks like a 5-3-2 to me. With this, I'm sure they'll be looking to make it difficult for their opponent to break them down. It's key that the wing-backs get forward to support the attacks and provide the width. Certainly a good job that they're fit, though, getting up and down that line. Long chance! No better sign for a player than an open goal in front of them. Easy! Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Move of real promise developing. Switched on and ready to intercept there. Robert Skov. Anton Stack. Meyer. Thiago Thomas. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Hammerich takes the shot, and the keeper's done really well to keep that out. A chance to get something going here, and the threat has gone with the keeper in control. Meyer. Mela. Turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. And he's got behind it! Oh, what a really good save that was. It's put into the middle, and the goalkeeper has got it back in his grasp. Well, he's certainly relieved he could gather that, but what a brilliant initial save. Kramerich. Well, it did look promising, but threat averted. Meyer. Advantage played, no free kick. And the ball has been nicely cut out. Jonas Wind. Now for the finish. A goal that draws them back on level terms. And superb technique to get past his man. He's drifting into a useful position here. And this could be only the keeper in his way. And it's a bad miss. It's not that far away. It's a decent effort. I just feel he lacked composure with the finish. Vint. They've given it away here. Move 
moving the ball forward. What can they do with this? Goes for goal! And on that whistle, the first half comes to an end. And we're off for the second half. Possession given away. Sven Bear. Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. And he's asked plenty of questions of the back line. It's certainly been difficult to contain. Well, it's all about moments in games, and he stepped up to... That has gone like a rocket! Absolutely wonderful goal! Keep going, says the referee. Advantage. What a chance here! Oh, they scored again! The game had only just restarted after the last one. Andre Kramaric. What a chance! You can feel the frustration after that. Possibly should have hit the target. Meyer. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. Maya. Joachim Mela. Vint. A little sloppy on the ball there. Maya. He's in here. It's in. Oh, they needed that. And they're not out of this game yet. Robert Skov. Kramaric. They're allowing space and he's finding it. But that's where any chance of anything developing disappears. Florian Grilich. Grisha Prömel. Oh, good defending, just when it was looking threatening. That's gone out of play. Throw in to come. Skov. Stack. Oh, a great chance. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Kramaric. Goes on past the defender. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. Counter-attack coming, away they go. Good cross into the middle. And how has that been kept out? Oh, no idea. You just expected it to go in from there, but the keeper had other ideas. It's a top-class save. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Approaching the last whistle here, and the hosts have really been on it. This will get a great reaction from the fans. Yeah, you've got to say they deserve the victory. The work rate on and off the ball has been really good, and you can see they've got a real determination today, and it shows, and it would be an excellent result. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away. Not...
really comfortable results in the end. They control large parts of the game. It's a real professional performance, and I think they deserve the results.
Hello everyone, well I must say we've been motoring to get here, we're in Germany's Autostadt at the Volkswagen Arena. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga, live action coming up. It's Wolfsburg facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a real... Will it be? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. Hoffman. I must say, this looks promising. Schick. And return to Hoffman. Here's Patrick Sheik. Textbook defending inside the box. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Jonathan Tarr plays alongside Edmond Tapsoba in central defence. And the striker is the very gifted Patrick Sheik. Sheik. And showing fine vision. And Patrick Schick now. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Palacios. Grimaldo with it. Wirtz. Dropping deep to collect the ball. Could play it in. The verdict is offside here. Ball now. Svanberg trying to open them up. Strong hand on that one. Odilon Kusunu. Really clever pressing. Can he put it away? And there it is. 1 0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Wirtz. And given away by Leverkusen. Frimpong. Ezequiel Palacios. Really well positioned. That's... This could be the equaliser. Oh, tight offside decision, but the flag does go up. Lovro Maia. Nicely timed tackle. Wirtz. Hoffman. And on to Xhaka. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And up for grabs off the keeper. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Promising attack, this. Crossing into the middle. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Looking for a teammate. Arnold. It needs an accurate cross. Arnold. And that will be all for the first half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
promising looking attack but quick thinking defensively Svanberg he's foiled them on his own you certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point Stuart well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate Mike. Oh, to level the match, and it's a goal, level again, what a match this is turning out to be. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Grimaldo, plenty of support here. Schick, it's got to be! Hoffman Jeremy Frimpong Sheik Real chance Superb chance Well that was the chance to extend the lead Well that's a waste really He's got to hit the target there Czerny Nicely cut out Useful looking position you've got to say Leverkusen regaining possession. Hoffmann. Palacios on the ball. And return to Hoffmann. Genuine chance. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. And winning it back. Grimaldo. Oh, great defending. Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Nice weight on the pass. And nicely over the top. And a good take under duress there. Mele. Arnold. And in possession, Rogerio. Thiago Tomas. And Leverkusen recovering possession well. Granit Xhaka. Just the challenge that was required. Hoffman. This attack looks highly promising. And they've bought themselves a bit of time. And the keeper has possession of it. Well, Wolfsburg unable to hold on to the ball. Couldn't hang on to it again. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Can he make it out? Wonderful block. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. And that will be that. The referee's whistle for four. You're right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace, and the midfield... Game. It was a great all-round performance.
Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words to remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Werder Bremen facing Bayer Leverkusen. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Edmond Tapsoba plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And it's Patrick Schick up front. Schick. Grimaldo. Schick. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Schick Jacka with it Grimaldo Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them Target Marvin Dux Oh, that's fine defensive play. Hoffman. It needs an accurate cross. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Given away by Leverkusen. Good work from Bremen to win the ball back. Marvin Dux. Weiser. Passing it around as the search goes on for an equaliser. Might lead to a chance. It might be. And a goal to square the game. Into the seat stuff. Tops of that. Grimaldo with it. Now what can they do from here? And space to cross it. Xhaka. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And an astute piece of defending. Ezequiel Palacios. And Patrick Schick now. Safe pair of hands did his job. Marvin Dux. Good tackle taken away. 
Hoffman. Palacios on the ball. Plenty of support here. But really sticking to their task defensively. And no more time left. That concludes. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Can they nudge in front? Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Stargett. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team. Oh, with Stuart, they must score! Oh, how about that for a tackle? Jeremy Frimpong. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Marvin Dux. Schmidt. Well, relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. He must finish! Well, fantastic reflex action. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Nicely timed tackle. Can they hit on the break? Need to get back quickly here. Cheek. Palacios on the ball. Marvin Dux. Jens Stage. Chance to do damage. Can they take the lead here? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Just 20 minutes remaining now. It was on its way in. Patrick Schick now. How about the cross? Oh, breezing past him. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Schick. Oh, surely. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? This to give them the lead again. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. And very deftly cut out. Hoffman. And Patrick Schick now. This could finish it. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. A very effective challenge put in. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear-cut chances. There's still time, though. They just need to get the ball into the danger area. Schick. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Beautiful pass. Something to worry about here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And there goes the final whistle. It's certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance.
The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time, just like another season to you and welcome to another exciting game brought to you by EA TV. My name's Guy Mowbray, I'm joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position and we've got League Un action for you today. What a chance! Well, plenty of power on the effort, but just wide. Goal kick it is. Here's how the home side lines up. That looks like a 4-5-1 to me. It seems quite... Hold on, Sue, they're in here. Great defending. Here it comes. It came off the defender. Corner. It was a great chance, but great defending too. Making good progress here. Kirivella. And they want to see a shot here. Can he finish? The keeper quick to get across and make the save. A good advantage played by the ref. He's going to pull it back for the free kick now. Good officiating. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Pushing forward with options available now. Could get it over now. Genuine chance. And that'll go out for a corner. It's put into the middle. And the corner dealt with. Breaking at pace. This could be dangerous. Nicely sets it up. Real opportunity. And it's in. It's no longer goalless. There's the opener. Turn around in possession. Excellent positioning. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. And calmly handled despite mounting pressure. A little sloppy on the ball there. Nicolas Kozak. Jean-Charles Castelletto. 
Oh, a great chance. And it's in. The goal to get us back to level pegging. And the game restarts with the score 1-0. Pedro Kirivella read the pass well and cuts it out. Now a sense that something could happen from this. And they've lost it now. Well, can he get onto this? The referee playing advantage, showing good wit with this attack. For the lead now, and it's hit the bar. Well, it was looking good, but there it's ended. Oh, that wasn't far away, was it? They do well to create the chance, they just couldn't quite finish it off there. Pedro Kirivella. And that whistle brings the first half to... The ball is rolling and the second half is underway. Players waiting in the centre. Has to be. Terrific point-blank save. Well, I thought that had to be a goal, but the keeper pulls off a tremendous save. It's cat-like reflexes. Oh, it's still in there. Well, it was a great save, that, from the keeper. Showed his agility there to keep the ball out. It's a real important save to keep it all square. He's asked plenty of questions of the back line. Certainly been difficult to contain. Yeah, it was a good response and a clinical finish from him, and they show great resilience. I'm sure they're going to be looking for more of that in the second half. Koza. Options of a chance to go ahead. They've scored! And that gives them a priceless lead. Edging ever closer to goal here. And the shot thwarted. Kelvin Amion. Sissoko. Floron Mole. And they need to be better on the ball than that. A lot of room for them here. A chance to level maybe here from the corner. It was a great chance, but great defending too. A really good interception to take the ball. Koza. Oh, good defending just when it was looking threatening. Musa Sissoko. has to be and they've leveled it up nothing to split them once more switched on and ready to intercept that there could be a chance to win the game here oh they scored again 
The game had only just restarted after the last one. And a real sense of urgency here. Could they equalise from this? And that's a bad one. Just how bad is down to the referee. And that will keep the attack moving nicely. But not the end result that was hoped for. Could be something happening for them now. What a chance. Very, very close. But hit too hard to get the bend that was needed to score. Musa Sissoko. The pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Nicely played through. Working hard to win it back there. And the forward progress continues. And the referee brings the game to a close with the teams give absolutely everything there was a real intensity to the game but i think the moments of quality just give them the edge and they deserve the results
colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And coming up, live action from Ligue 1, technically speaking, one of the finest leagues in the world. It's Stade de Reims up against Nantes. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got to be effective, both with their dribbling and their crosses. Otherwise, they'll be. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. Mohamed. Oh, they get the ball once more. Well, full marks for getting past him. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Is it going to be? Able to close down the shot. Moses Simon. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And it's in! 1-0, they've breached the defence. Nakamura. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. And a creative look about this. The cut back. It's there for him. Can they slot it home? Oh, chance taken! There is opportunism for you, but a disappointed goalkeeper. Nakamura. Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them, just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Nakamura. Oh, surely. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Plenty of options. And the shot. Well, so close, and it goes down as a chance to draw level. Yeah, really good chance to get back into this, I have to say. They just didn't take it. Florent Mollet. Moses Simon. Lost possession. Darami and still looking to get the shot off but quick thinking defensively and a clear foul but the referee letting the play flow well if you're going to challenge like that it has to be spot on what do the referee think of it Erai Chumert Now Sissoko. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Keito Nakamura. Well, possibilities in the centre. Good looking move. Can he get the level? The first half here comes to an... Away they go again. Second half is underway here.
Oh, nice ball. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Keito Nakamura. And they know they need to stop him. Stopped a surefire goal. And there it is! The equaliser! Down to ten men, but showing guts and determination. Well, that'll be a free kick. Mohamed. Chiribeya. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Darani. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Delivered into the area here. He might be onto something. And there is the goal to give them the lead with 10 men. And intercepted it. And players waiting in the centre. And over the byline, goal kick coming up. Mohamed. Moving forward effectively. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Nakamura. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly red. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Could be threatening. Opportunity here. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Abdel Hamid. The fans want to see a shot. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now! And the lead fully merited. Marshal Munetzi. Played towards the back post. Well, no danger now. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. The possession lost, intercepted. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. And he might be through here. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. Penalty in the opinion of the referee. And this is seriously getting away from them. Keeper getting the touch. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Oh, he looks threatening. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Real chance. Oh, that... And that is going to be that. They weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out.
about derby passion. Two teams who know plenty about each other. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It is Rennes up against Nantes. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Now, let's see what they can do here. But quick thinking defensively. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's a fairly standard 4-4-2, which you don't see that often, but it does have its strength, particularly with the front two they've got playing today. They're both good players. The starting lineup then for Nantes. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. Pedro Chiribea. Enzo Lefe and snuffing out the danger and they continue to advance and a lot of options here an alert piece of defending Arno Cali Muendo oh and a penalty has been awarded big moment here can they get themselves ahead well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick! And the ball's moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Schumert. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. This could be troublesome, and just has to remain calm. Oh, he stopped it! Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Textbook defending inside the box. Shizoko. Can he take the chance? But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Arno Cali Muendo. Well, a joy to watch. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Shizoko. And Kelvin Amion on the ball. And a fine cross. Well, it wasn't a great header, in all fairness. And a goal kick it is. Santa Maria. And very deftly cut out. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so. And up to a point, they've looked threatening. But they need to be more clinical if they are to get this equaliser. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Shizoko. And it's opening up. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him a 
apparently. Oh, he's given the ball away. Promising possession, this. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Nicely cut out. Kusa. Promising attack, this. But timely defending when it mattered. Who can he pick out? It has to be! Superbly read and executed. Chirivea. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Benjamin Bourigeau. Enzo Lefay. Can he make it count? Is this the moment? And offside, just as he was ready to pounce. Amiot. Here's Kumat. Douglas Augusto. Moses Simon. Determined defending. Enzo Lefay. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Can he put them in front? Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Kosa. Here's Kumart. Well, he's given it away. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Cosa. Castelletto. And Kelvin Amiot on the ball. Augusto. Trying to open them up. And he read it well defensively. Pedro Chirivea. He's managed to lose his marker. Schumert. Douglas Augusto. Five minutes left. Beautiful pass. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Crossing opportunity. And an astute piece of defending. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And that is the whistle for the end of the night. The...
to you and welcome to another exciting game brought to you by EA TV. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by Sue Smith on the gantry and we've got action for you today from Uber Eats League 1. It's Nantes and they take on Monaco. Cheers Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. Players waiting in the centre. Well, it did look promising, but threat averted. Here's how the home side lines up. That looks like a 4-5-1 to me. It seems quite defensive, so I'd expect them to sit back, be quite tight and compact, but then they'll look to counter when they get the chance. Here's how Monaco line up. Certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. It does look quite defensive, and I'm sure they'll be looking to keep it tight. 
it is key that the forward holds the ball up well whilst he's waiting for those runners. It's going to be hard work for him up there on his own, I'm sure. Good patient builder. Zakaria. The approach play looked encouraging, but good defending to snuff out any threat. Mustafa Mohamed. Dennis Zakaria. Mary Pam. Zakaria. Real Embolo. Nothing to split the sides, but this move is looking promising. And this could be. It's in. 1 0. And that could change the shape of the game. Oh, superb reflexes. That looked like it might trouble the keeper, but they'll have to settle for a corner. And that's not properly away yet. Very quick to close down. Need to get tighter here. Options available in the middle. That's a lovely cut inside. And that is offside. Well, I'm not sure why he's not on the move inside the box. He just gets caught standing still. It's really poor, that. Sissoko. Floron Mole. This is a positive-looking move. And that's been overdone. It's behind for a goal kick. Takumi Minamino. Mbolo. They're not getting close enough here. And the promise of something happening is over. Moses Simon. Good spell on the ball, but they are still behind. Picks out a teammate. Oh, a great chance. What a stop. Razor sharp. Oh, talk about reactions. How good were his then? It's such close range. That's a brilliant save. Guillermo Maripan. Embolo. Now it needs a good ball in. Zakaria. Moving forward under no real pressure. Zakaria. And that whistle brings the first half to it. The ball is rolling and the second half is underway. There's a chance for them to go now. Pulls it back and ready for it coming his way. And they take a short corner. Zakaria. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, he's played well and the goal will be the standout moment, but I've been so impressed with his work rate too. I'm sure he'll want to keep that intensity up in the second half. Oh, crucial tackle to deal with the danger. Real Embolo. Could be a chance to break here. Corner to come then, and an opportunity to extend this lead. Van Desson. Singo. 
Great chance here. And the ball is still alive. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? They have to clear this. And the gap closed again. Now there could be a real chance developing. What a chance! Can he finish? And they're three in front now. What a performance this has been so far. Kirivella. Read the pass well and cuts it out. What a chance here. And another. Four to the good now. Any ideas of this being a contest surely over? Untidy in possession there. Oh, he's done well to get past his man. And the attack is over. Good defending. Breaking at pace. This could be dangerous. And on and on they go. Having to stay patient here. Well, he's scored, but it's not going to count. And he finished it off nicely, didn't he? But he was comfortably offside. Moving forward well. Can't sit back. Oh, it's hit the post. And it's all been sorted out by the goalkeeper. Kirivella. Mole. Good work to recover possession. A nice cutback. Has to be. Has to score. It's in. And of course it's in. It's a masterclass in finishing to complete his hat-trick. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day. It was the nature of the performance more than anything. They just never got out of second gear. They were dominated all over the park. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room after that.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on live action from Liga. It's Stade de Reims up against Monaco. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Golovin. And it's still on. Zakaria. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Alexander Golovin plays with Takumi Minamino out wide. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Mohamed Darami. Marshal Munetsi. Fluency of movement. Will he play it in? Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Richardson. Chance here. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Braille Embolo. Guillermo Maripan. Alexander Galavin has it. Zakaria. Galavin. The verdict is offside here. Richardson. It's with the Smet. Nakamura. Now relying very much on the passing game in a bid to take the lead. Good idea. Must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Ismail Jakobs. Now he's given it away. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Nice looking move, this. And he stopped them in their tracks. And below. Cuts it back. And denied by the post. And a good take under duress there. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Yes, a really up and flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Read that pass all the way. Cutting it out. Minamino. Delivering it into the box. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. But the goalkeeper angry with himself here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Can he find the right pass? And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage, and space to cross it. Zakaria. Well, there's defensive solidity for you.
You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward. And what Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! Galavine, a creative look about this. A disappointing end to the move. Keito Nakamura. Looking for the right angle. The fans are shouting, shoot! And a good-looking ball. Can he put it away? Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Embolo. Good movement. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Mina Mino. Possession changing hands. Promising looking attack. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. Can they jump in front? Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And giving the ball away. Can they forge ahead? And still an opportunity. It's got to be. He's got to find the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Zakaria. Well, time is of some concern. Can they level matters? And support available. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And back now with Diouf. Five minutes to go. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Richardson. The supporters want to see him have a go. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. The referee blows for full time. It was a comfortable win in the end. Game. It was a really good result for them here today.
in football and in rugby. It's the Parc des Princes in Paris. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'll be joined for commentary by Sue Smith, the former England forward. And we've got league earn action for you today. It's Paris Saint-Germain and they take on Lyon. Yeah, cheers, guys. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully, I've not just cursed it. Genuine chance. Great defending. Oh, that's not properly away. And that is a magnificent intervention. Here's how PSG line up. Gianluigi Donnarumma is in goal. Lucas Hernandez plays with Ashraf Hakimi as fullbacks, and they've decided to go with two in attack for this game. Well, he's lost the ball, and any chance has gone. Here's the Leon team sheet. Yeah, looks like a conventional 4 4 2. We don't see it too often anymore, but it should give them a really stable platform both in and out of possession. Need to get tighter here. Can he finish? The first blow of the day struck early. 1 0. Dembele. Brilliant. More of that, please. Surely the equaliser. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. Mbappe. Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. Dembele! And it's there to equalise. Settle in for the rest of this. A great game already. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. And it's been kept out to deny him the double. He showed really good movement to get himself into those goal-scoring positions. Just couldn't quite find the clinical touch there. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Could be dangerous. For the lead here. And denied by a top-draw tackle. Danilo Pereira. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. That's perhaps unlucky. The pass played out for a throw. Dembele. Still problems for them here. Hakimi. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Marquinhos. Pereira. On to Marquinhos. Mbappe. There could be something building for PSG here. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. And simple for the keeper to just come and collect. Maxence Kakare. Dembele. The crowd urging him to shoot. And with that, the first half comes to an end. And we're off for the second half. Possession given away.
Mangala. And that has stopped any potential danger. An attack of genuine promise developing and stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. Dembele. A promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. Alex Lacazette. Well, of all the players we're watching today, would you agree that he'd certainly get good marks so far? Well, sometimes you just need a bit of quality to get yourself back into a game, and he produced that. I do feel that they need to step up in the second half if they're going to go on and win this, though. Balde. Oh, great work. What's next? Having a try. Oh, he caught that with everything he's got, but it's missed the target. Oh, excellent vision. Found nicely and in. They've got another, and he's got another. Two for the game. A lot of room for them here but able to deal with the danger decisively, well defended. Ashraf Hakimi. Marquinhos. Danilo Pereira. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. Lacazette! And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. Short corner taken here. Balde. And this could be. Stopped at the last. Chances don't come better. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Oh, it's a penalty. To extend the lead. And they have paid the penalty. It's been dispatched. So it's 3-1 now. And off they go once more. Mbappe. Hard work brings reward in winning back possession. And it's on now. And there's the hat-trick. He'll be taking the match ball home. It's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick. It was the right idea, but it's just been overdone in the end. An ugly ball, this could lead to something. Gets passed really nicely. Oh, what a really good save that was. Corner kick played in. The defence does its work. And it will now be a corner. And they need to clear it here. Well, that brings the match to a close. A
of eight. And this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent... And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And on the menu today is live action from Liga. It is Montpellier against Paris Saint-Germain. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Chance to cross. Credit to them for winning back possession. And the lineup for Montpellier. Well, it's a 5 3 2, really, because both wing backs are more defensively minded, which could leave the front two without any service from the wide areas. That could be a problem for them. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Jordan Ferry. Savanier. Chotard. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Released it nicely. He could pick out a teammate. Now well, just the tackle that was needed. A delicious piece of skill. Well, that's a fine-looking pass. Was it the denial of a clear goal? scoring opportunity if so he's off and that is goalkeeping of the very highest order the pass by Mbappe he'll be disappointed Palai Sacco still behind but the pressure mounting well they were very patient but they no longer have the ball and it's gone over the line Sagnon Savanier well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Adams. And options in the centre. The fans want to see a shot. They had to react and did. Dembele. Hernandez. Now with Mbappe. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And played short. Dembele. And defensive play to be applauded. Adams has it. Sagnon. Caramo. Well, a stylish moment. And will it be the leveller? And a goal to level this contest. All even. Mbappe. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? And with that, the attack fizzles out. And with that, the first... Underway then in the second half. 
And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. And teammates around him. Job done, Ferry. Chance to finish. What a commitment to defending. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Beautiful pass. Dembele. Mbappe with it. Will it be? Stopped a surefire goal. Sagnon. Sacco with it. 30 minutes to go then. Good distribution. Caramo. Can they jump in front? And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Caramo takes on the shot. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Trying to open them up. Mbappe! Well, the post getting in the way there. Now in a more than decent position. Well, PSG won't come any closer than that. It really did look like being... Oh, well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Oh, tremendous save. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Oh, magnificent save. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. And still a chance. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. 15 minutes left for play. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Teammates available. Oh, super piece of play. And a goal! The equaliser! They simply refuse to be beaten. Down to 10 men, but right back in this game. Well, he's been ruled offside. PSG on the attack as the really smart stop and no advantage for either side here. Now he's kept his team on level terms here. That was a really top class save. Mbappe. Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Tempele. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. And a fine tackle. Oh, he's through here. Oh, a crucial save at such an important stage of the game. Well, he really is a good goalkeeper in those situations. He's just kept his team in it here. And he might be through here. Oh, a goal! What drama here near the end. They might be down to ten, but now... And that will do it for this game anyway.
got so intense And all we Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about because coming up for you, action from Liga. It is Nice against Paris Saint-Germain. Yes, thanks as always Derek. We've got two good teams here. So I'm in. Surely... A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Perfect challenge. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Jordan Lotomba. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Sanson. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Danilo Pereira. Mbappe with it. Marquinhos and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end keepers ball every day of the week Jordan Lotomba Todibo Sanson Yusuf Ndaishi Mie. It's with Morgan Sanson. Sanson. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Kangin Lee. Jeremy Boga. And he's won the ball. Sanson. And here's the ball.
Yusuf Ndaishi Miye. Oh, a vital interception. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Mbappe tries his luck. Ball is loose. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? And looking towards the back post. Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Kangin Lee. Firing it towards goal! Oh, it wasn't far away, but above the crossbar. Kefren Turam. And now with Boga. Wonderfully weighted pass. And the decision offside here. Mbappe. Fine cross into the middle. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Jordan Lotomba. The first half here. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. Nice weight on the pass. Can they get in behind them? Miles from goal. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Tempele. Just the challenge that was required. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Dembele. Here's Marquinhos. And the perfect position to read it. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Can he give them the advantage? And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly read. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Intercepting it intelligently. Lucas Hernandez. Melvin Barr. Mofi. Determined defending. A really good pass. Mbappe, excellent defending, and the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Teammates available. Sanson, shaping to shoot. Oh, a smart stop. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. So the corner played into the box. Still not clear. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. Dembele. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. Oh, the post denied him. 
Well, PSG were so close to taking a lead there, but you do sense we'll get a great end to the game. Turan. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Danilo Pereira. Five minutes left. Hernandez. Nicely timed tackle. Murphy. Now, maybe room here for the counter attack. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Now he must favour the cross. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and...
Two giants of football going head to head today. Well, I don't think I'd rather be anywhere else but here in Marseille today. Welcome to the velodrome from Marseille versus PSG with me, Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith for commentary on a rivalry that's grown and grown over recent years. Yeah, and I love the derby day, north against south. And like you say, it's a big rivalry between these two. PSG have dominated the matches between them and would be my favourites coming into this, but I'm sure Marseille are going to make it as difficult as possible for them. Here's how PSG line up. Gianluigi Donnarumma is in goal. Lucas Hernandez plays with Ashraf Hakimi as fullbacks, and they're going with two men leading the line. Oh, good defending, just when it was looking threatening. This is how the visitors start the game. Yeah, it looks like they've lined up in a 4-4-2, and they do look balanced in this system. You can defend deep, stay compact, bring the opposition forward, then hit them quickly on the counter-attack. Unsurprising who we've picked out as our player to watch here. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Well, he's got so much to his game, but the strength that stands out to me is his ability to whip a ball in from out wide. The pace and the accuracy that he gets, it's a nightmare for defenders. But forwards, they'll thrive on it. Options available in the middle. The ball is lost, and the chance has gone too. Danilo Pereira. Mbappe. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Moving the ball forward, what can they do with this? Ball back with PSG now. Moving forward well. Well, it looked promising, but only up to a point. Kondogbia. Chancel Mbemba. Still level, but this attack could see that changing. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Kondogbia. He's in here. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Mbappe. Could be a chance. Oh, what a really good save that was. Klaus. Now Kondogbia. Obama Young. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Yeah, Emmerich Aubameyang. Kondogbia. Klaus. Chance to go ahead. It's in. 1-0. And that could change the shape of the game. And that will... So the second half begins with PSG looking to bounce back. A decent move looked to be building, but that's it for now. Chancel Mbemba. Klaus. 
Oh, possession lost. Not a good pass. Klaus. A chance to deliver into the box. Kondogbia. Obama Young. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Well, he's asked plenty of questions of the back line. It's certainly been difficult to contain. Well, he's had a really good half. Everything that he did was quality. And I'm sure he'll want a similar performance in the second 45. And it's on now. And there won't be any rebounds there. Herrera. Usman Dembele. Making good progress here. And the shot thwarted. And can PSG take advantage of this set piece? Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Samuel Gigo. Could be a chance to break here. Lovely weighted pass. But the man in goal wins the race to the ball. Danilo Pereira. Mbappe. Now it needs a good ball in. Good defending to end a decent-looking attack. Jonathan Klaus. Could turn out to be a really good ball. What a chance! Oh, the build-up was lovely. The way it's ended, not so good. Mbappe. Struggling to keep the ball there. Advantage played, no free kick. Real opportunity. And the goalkeeper has made it his. It looks the right ball. Read the pass well, and cuts it out. Oh, yes, please. There aren't many who'd even try that. Genuine chance. And he's done really well to keep that out. It's a corner now, and they could get the game won here. The referee's going to go back and give a booking here. Yeah, and I liked how she let play continue there, but had to punish the foul. Once play had stopped, she did that. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Not long to go until the end now. And the hosts on score, at least, second best. Yeah, they've still got time to get that equaliser. They just need one moment of quality. Someone to take the game by the scruff of the net. Hang on, what about this? And it's a great goal. He couldn't have met that any better. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away. It's a positive performance. Some of the play today was great to watch. They moved the ball quick and created some really good openings. It's a good result. I need an angel.
excited and ready for this one. Hello and thanks for joining us live here on EA TV. My name's Guy Mowbray, I'm joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position and we've got action for you today from Uber Eats League On. Sue, what can we expect from the game then? Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. That's a pretty poor error, to be honest. Didn't have to do that. Here's how the home side lines up. Well, it's a 5-3-2 on paper, but it will shift to a 3-5-2 when they have the ball. The wing-backs are so important in this formation. They've got the responsibilities in both defending and attacking. This is how the Marseille team looks. Yeah, it looks like a 5-3-2 to me. With this, I'm sure they'll be looking to make it difficult for their opponent to break them down. It's key that the wing-backs get forward to support the Oh, attack. hold on, Sue, they might be in here. And the cross is blocked. Condogbia. Obama Young. And there it is! The opening goal, and what a bright start it's been! Savanier. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Chance for the equaliser. Super tackle, but the danger not dealt with. That set up the chance. the space to whip it in here what a chance and there's another one valuable breathing space for them now oh yes all the practice pays off no free kick not yet advantage played real opportunity the effort shut out Jonathan Klaus, untidy in possession there. Obama Young. Safe but not cleared. And away it goes. Drifting into a useful position here. There too. Obama Young. And denied by a top draw tackle. Well, half time is approaching soon, and it's not gone well for them. The crowd might make their feelings clear about how this is going when the whistle goes. Yeah, they certainly won't be happy with that first half performance. They've lacked real leaders in that back line. They look disjointed and easy to break down. But there's still a long way to go in this match, and the next goal is going to be crucial. And the keeper has it to avert the danger. The chance to cross here. Out of play for a throw and maybe just a lapse in concentration. Klaus. On to Obama Yang. Obama Yang. Obama Yang. And on that whistle, the first half comes to. Off we go, the second half underway. There too. And that's good goalkeeping in a difficult situation. Jordan Ferry. A 
that's excellent in to cut out the danger well of all the players we're watching today would you agree that he'd certainly get good marks so far he's done well hasn't he the standout is obviously his goal but the quality of his all-round play has been impressive he'll be hoping he can continue that level in the second half to go a long way with this oh they were getting interested there but not anymore Shota well, they could get caught out on the break here they need to get bodies back and still the chance might come and that will ease any defensive worry Leonardo Bellerdi Encouraging signs to the attack, but it hasn't led to anything. A turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. They're not getting close enough here. Obama Young read the pass well and cuts it out. Could be a chance to break here. Klaus. Genuine chance. Good, patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Strong play to keep possession. Moving the ball around well here. Oh, a great chance. No, that's superb from the defender. Well, the atmosphere in here, it's tense. The crowd can't believe that they didn't get a penalty there. Looking to put the cross in. Cuts it back. Could pull one back here. It's in. Now have they got the belief and the time to get another? And Bemba. Now Condogbia. Promising looking ball. What can they do from here? Can he finish? Another goal! And one that surely will seal the win. Oh, that's superb technique to get past. The ball is lost and the chance has gone too. They could, and it's all over, with the away fans able to celebrate the win. The real hard-fought game, both teams showed moments of quality. They but overall, they'll be happy with the result and the performance.
in summer and a warm welcome our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up it is Manchester City up against Crystal Palace thanks Derek well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly hitting the opposition back playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible Hopefully, we get a really good game here. City did well to win it back. And so, the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Bernardo Silva plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. Diesch. Now Haaland. Perfect tackle. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. And that is how to beat your opponent. And they just let his opponent glide by. Will he finish? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Jean-Philippe Mateta. On to Mateta. Just the challenge that was required. Rodri. Interception to snuff out the danger. Good ball to switch the play. Holland. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Rodri. Walker. An effective challenge. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was. A really good pass. Well, a good place to win it back and let's see what it leads to. We're racing away here. Could be... The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. A good and fair challenge. Chance to get themselves back into it. Oh, great block. And given away. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. That's just a loss of focus. Absolutely spot on with that challenge.
Erling Haaland. And he's in. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And so the first 45 minutes of... Back in business, and no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between them in the first half. Will we see a response from City in the second? Gvardiol. Alvarez. Well read to put an end to that attack. Really nice ball. And a very good challenge. Oh, left his man behind here. Hudson Edouard. Distributing it well. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Now, well, maybe room here for the counter attack. Dangerous looking through ball. Outside by quite a lot. Ahamada and Edouard with it went in strongly decisively and playing it through and he's in surely and there it is still life left in this game and they have the momentum now well the action underway again can City go hunting for an equaliser now determined defending This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. A good vision there. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? And the counter-attack came to nothing. Holland and defensive play to be applauded now options are plenty but timely defending when it mattered Rodri Doku Rodri Phil Foden. And danger averted. Well read. Well, very effective play in possession. Edison, wonderful goalkeeping. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Now in a more than decent position. Vardiol. Here's Alvarez. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. He read it well defensively. How can they find a late leveller? This could level it. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And that will be all.
Two giants of football going head to head. A warm welcome from Stamford Bridge. I'm Guy Mowbray and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And it's a game from the Premier League on the way. It's Chelsea versus Manchester City. Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. And no scraps for the attackers to feed off. Hung on to the ball well. Here's how Chelsea line up. Yeah, it's a 3-4-2-1, and this is quite a narrow formation, so it's key that the two wing-backs provide the width. The front three, I'm sure they'll combine and attack, and maybe another midfielder join in as well. This is the Manchester City starting eleven. Edison is between the posts. Ruben Diaz starts alongside Nathan Ake as the centre-backs. Rodri plays alongside Bernardo Silva in the heart of midfield, and the main man in attack is Erling Haaland. This is who I've been looking forward to seeing most today. Are we going to see him play a prominent role here soon? Well, it's just how good he is on the ball, the way he glides past players. He can go in the inside or the outside, and then he's got great end product. He's so creative. I just can't wait to watch him today. Rodri. Rodri. Chelsea recovering possession well. Decent delivery. Kept alive. And there's the opener. The all-important first goal of the game. Jeremy Doku. Please come to the ticket office to meet Nathan. Thank you. Bernardo Silva. City trying to get things moving. Is this the equaliser? Still not clear. And the keeper just about able to deal with the danger. City have it back now. Walker. There's space out wide for City now. Alvarez. The approach play looked encouraging, but good defending to snuff out any threat. Now, this might be promising. And Kunku. Could get it over now. A terrific tackle. The chance has gone. Well, listen to that. They're furious. They feel it was a clear-cut penalty. Making good progress here. Oh, worth a shot. Well, he's kept that out nicely. Sterling and Kunku. There could be something building for Chelsea here. Sterling. Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. And with that, the first... Away we go then for the second half. Chelsea holding the lead, but only just. That's not a bad-looking ball. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. Well, that's how to clear it. Read the pass well, and cuts it out. Nkunku. Sterling. A nice 
and smooth ends thanks to nice defending. Well, it might have come to something, but that's the keeper's ball and easily. Rodri. Now Haaland. Rodri. Promising looking attack from City. Decent chance this. Bernardo Silva. Oh, a great chance. Mikhailo Mudrik. A chance now for a quick transition. Picks out a teammate. The ball is lost and the chance has gone too. Foden has a go and it's hit the bar. And that must be so disappointing for them. Well, I think they deserve to be level here. That's unfortunate. Hopefully they don't look back on the missed opportunity at the end of the game. Untidy in possession there. That wasn't an easy one to keep in play. Bernardo Silva. Could be a chance. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. And an opportunity from the corner for City to get back into the game. Bernardo Silva. Mudrik. He's beaten his marker here. Goalkeeper asserts himself well there to get to the ball. Oh, that's superb technique to get past. That looks decent, making progress here. Genuine chance. And they're still just about in it thanks to that stop. Oh, could have been game over, but he produced a top save at an important time. Fantastic work from him. Players waiting in the centre. City come away with it. Jeremy Doku. Now there might be a chance to level things. To square things up. It's there. Time running out. And they've got the goal that draws them level. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Walker, Ake, and there goes the final whistle, it's all over.
An unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant... Well, hello to you from Goodison Park, which was England's first purpose-built football ground way back in 1892. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary, along with Sue Smith, and a live game from the Premier League on the way. It's Everton versus Manchester City. Thanks, Guy. Well, I can't wait for this one. Both sets of fans are certainly up for it. I'm sure that that'll give the players a real boost. They'll be hoping to start the game at a fast tempo. This is the home side's team today. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays as it does give you those two holding players while you've still got plenty of threat from the wide wingers. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. This is the Manchester City starting 11. Edison is between the posts. Ruben Diaz starts alongside Nathan Ake as the centre-backs. Rodri plays for the lead now. Oh, it's in! An early opener to get the game going. Erling Haaland. Now with Foden. Foden. The ball is lost and the chance has gone too. McNeil. Pushing forward with options available now. Oh, they scored a game! The game had only just restarted after the last one. Walker. Rodri. Calvert Lewin. And the ref has played advantage here. Vitali Mikolenko. Calvert Lewin. And it's on now, and further clear they go. There's surely no throwing this one away. Oh, yes, please. There aren't many who'd even try that. Harrison. McNeil. Calvert Lewin. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Decent delivery. It was a glorious chance. Offside or not, that's a glaring miss. It really is. How glad will he be about the offside flag? Because you've got to test the goalkeeper from there. City recovering possession well. Foden from a long way out and that is a quality bit of goalkeeping that's been viewed as a foul a free kicks awarded well a really good opportunity but the execution hardly tested the keeper they're allowing space and he's finding it but not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position. Rodri. Julian Alvarez. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Calvert-Lewin. Play on is the referee's call. Harrison. Calvert Lewin. The ball back with City now. Bernardo Silva. Haaland. 
And that has stopped any potential danger. And that brings a close to the first half here at Goodison. And the ball rolling again, with Manchester City facing a lot of hard work in the next 45 minutes. Decore. And he'll have a go here. Oh, he caught that with everything he's got. But it's missed the target, only just too high. Play continues as the ref lets that go. And he'll take this on, but it's travelled straight into the goalkeeper's gloves. No time to dwell on the ball. Well, he's played a starring role up to this point. He's been wonderful to watch. He's been the standout, the difference between the two teams. And at times, he's been unplayable. The goals were clinical, and he just looked hungry for more. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. City have possession again. Jack Harrison, Onana, the crowd urging him to shoot, oh superb, right place, great save. Oh it's a wonderful save, it comes at him quickly, very little time to react, but he just manages to keep it out, it's great goalkeeping. Just look at the stats, they show just how dominant they've been, created so many good chances and winning comfortably. The defence have struggled to cope and I'm sure we're going to see a change soon or this could be humiliating. And they've lost it now. Lovely incisive ball. And he's done really well to keep that out. And a corner to come for Manchester City. but not clear and that hasn't come to anything a chance now for a quick transition well it looked so promising but it's come to nothing and the ball is claimed secure goalkeeping there Tarkovsky McNeil plenty of space to attack now Oh, a great chance. And another goal. Surely they're home and dry with the win now. Diaz. Now with Foden. Beaten easily here. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. Bernardo Silva, and a goal for them, but I'm afraid it barely even counts as consolation. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Amadou Onana. This is looking good, now what comes next? But that's where any chance of anything developing disappears. That's crossed the line. It'll be a throw. Walker. That's not a bad-looking ball. And he's having a go. Brilliant attempt. It very nearly went in. Oh, that's a great volley. Catches it sweet. Doesn't miss by much. And the referee...
down Absolutely ideal weather for football here in Manchester at the Etihad. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. Oh, no stopping him. Looking for someone to play it to. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Nuri in possession Dawson Bruno Jordão and here's the Wolves lineup 
Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. They're oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, not to be. Stopping a certain goal. And that is how to win the ball high up the pitch. Can he find the right pass? Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Sarabia. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And players waiting in the centre. It's a perfect challenge. Foden. City couldn't keep the ball. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Holland. Given away by Manchester City once more. And a good take under duress there. Holland. Perfect challenge. A City free kick forthcoming. And support available. Sarabia. And options in the centre. Good run, very much in control of the situation, but timely defending when it mattered. Well, nearing the half-time interval, and Manchester City still trailing. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! Poor attempt at a pass, really. Rodri. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Half time. That will do it for the first time. So, back in business. The second half underway. And City trying to plot a route back into this one. the challenge that was required and does well to keep it in play could play it in Nelson Semedo just knocking it around looking to carve out a chance what a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Rodri. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Holland. Nelson Semedo. Cunha. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Jordão. Plenty of support here. Sarabia.
Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And finally, up a cul-de-sac. Pablo Sarabia. Jordão. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Holland. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Jean Rickner Bellegarde. Nelson Semedo. And teammates to play it to. Semedo. Nelson Semedo. That's a good-looking ball. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Pablo Sarabia. Jordão. The emphasis very much on attack. Cunha. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Well, the atmosphere is electric at the moment, but can City reward their fans with a winner? You sense it might be coming. Holland. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Max Kilman. Craig Dawson. Kilman. Nelson Semedo. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. And so the referee brings the 90 minute.
best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability. The floodlights are beaming down on the players here at Stamford Bridge in West London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes, thank you. It should be a goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Pedro Neto. Given away by Chelsea. Great ball from Raheem Sterling. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Sterling, the delivery. On a bit short with the clearance. And Kunku. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Ryan Ait Nuri. Plenty of support here. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Wang Hee Chan. And here's Cunha. A chance to whip it in. And off the crossbar! Well, he must have thought that was in. He struck it so cleanly. Fernandez. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Conor Gallagher. And options in the centre. Cunha. Can he get them level? Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. Belgarde. He'll take this on. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And Wolves with an opportunity to equalise here. And the shot. Huge block. Well, the ball back with Wolves here. Fernandez. Moises Caicedo. Well read to ease the pressure. Craig Dawson. Jordao. Wolves doing well to regain possession. Connor Gallagher. And Chelsea have given us away. Gallagher. Oh, good vision. Sterling. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And defensive play to be applauded. Nkunku. Sterling has it. Really good build-up, but no end product. And the first 45 minutes have come. Now they get the ball rolling once more. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Pablo Sarabia. Nuri. How about the cross? Semedo. 
Very effective pass. Oh, he's blocked it. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, that's... Could be! And a goal to square the game! Into the seat stuff! Given away by Chelsea. And he has options available. And the ball is loose. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Sterling. Enzo Fernandez. Opportunity. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. Chance here. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Nelson Semedo. And Wolves in a position of menace. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Enzo Fernandez. He has teammates around him. Fernandez. Well, it's a very attractive passing sequence. Well, trying to take the time, but not enough care on the ball. Kilman. Jordao. Sarabia. Precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Malo Gusto. Perfect challenge. And threading it through. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, it's going to be a great finish here. These Chelsea fans are ramping up the noise now. They're surely going to get another chance before the end. They'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Taken short. Dawson took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Oh, superb skill. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive. How about this for drama? All even once more. Astonishing. Max Kilman. Nelson Tomato has it. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? And space to cross it. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to...
do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Lose it all. Hello to you from the London Stadium, the venue for the 2012 Olympic Games. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with the former England forward Sue Smith. And it's all about the Premier League here. It's West Ham United versus Tottenham Hotspur. Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. Richarlison. And that has stopped any potential danger. This is the West Ham United team sheet. Yeah, a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays as it does give you those two holding players while you've still got plenty of threat from the wide wingers. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Goes for goal! Oh, wow! 
no right to score from there. It had to be perfect. Kudus. So foul. Mohamed Kudus. And the ball back with Spurs now. Spurs finding some room on the flank. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Brilliant work by the Manning goal. That's a top stop. Delivered into the box. Or well, maybe he was distracted, but that's a miss. Well, it's nowhere near in the end, but praise has to go to how well they defend this. Just don't give him time to set himself. Alvarez. Soche. Looks a good ball. Oh, superb save. He's done so well to keep that out. Over it comes. And they need to clear it here. And it's all been sorted out by it's the goalkeeper. And Pat Asar. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. And that's a shame for them. Nothing doing. Could be a chance. Well, in the end, it didn't give the keeper much trouble at all. Emerson. Alvarez. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. There could be something building here for Spurs. Son. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. Decent looking cross played in. What a terrific effort. That would have been special. Well, he watches the ball all the way, connects with it perfectly, but just can't find the accuracy. It's a great effort, though. So foul. Well, with half time approaching, the bulk of the crowd won't be happy with how things stand. They've got work to do here. Yeah, a little bit off the pace for me. Seem to be losing those midfield battles. Often second to the 50-50s, but obviously a goal in the next few minutes would change things. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Oh, good strike! Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising-looking attack. It's put into the middle. There still could be something happening here. Well, they've got the ball again. Now what to do with it? Werner. And he'll have a go here. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. Safe, but not clear. And that brings the first half to an end here. Spurs in front as the second half starts. Plenty of time for a few twists and turns to come. They're getting into a good position. That's a good ball. And this could be. It's cleared and they can breathe easier. Clear goal scoring opportunity stopped. Red card, surely. And the keeper saw that one coming all the way. In the right position to cut out the pass. Ward Prowse, what a chance here. 
It's saved magnificent from the keeper. Oh, that is a great save. It's so close to him. His reactions are quick, and that's really good goalkeeping. Under a little bit of pressure, he's managed to put it wide. Well, he just can't get away from his marker for a clean header. That's top defending. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Surely one of the standout players so far has been Son Hyung Min. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Good score here. Brilliant. Great save. What a stop was it from the keeper. He doesn't have much time to react. That's a top save. Mohamed Kudus. And that has stopped any potential danger. The counter looks on here. Options available. Ward Prowse in behind. Can he finish? Well, they refuse to be beaten. Down to 10, but right back in this game. And just look at the celebrations. Of Bonner. Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. Ward Prowse. This has to be. Oh, top class from the goalkeeper. Oh, it's a great save. Certainly showed his class there and prevented an up. It's there. This really is amazing. They've lost a player, but they're leading the game. Emerson. Socek. An attack of genuine promise developing. Mohamed Kudus. Space now to get a crossover. That will be a throw in now. Put into the middle. And away, they've got it clear. Could be a chance to break here. Now for the finish. And a great stop to turn the ball away. Corner for Spurs. The goal now would really change the complexion of the match. Well, maybe only a half chance. It's missed by quite a distance. Yeah, this is great defending. There's so much pressure on him just as he's about to head this. Means he can't hit the target. Well read to gain possession. Now a sense that a late equaliser could be on the cards. It's there! Time running out! And they've got the goal that draws them level. Zuma. Thomas Socek. There could be a chance to win the game here. But able to deal with the danger decisively. Well defended. Old Prowse. Well, it has to be perfectly struck from that distance, and that wasn't. It wasn't. He certainly got the confidence to have a go from there, but he gets it all wrong. It's miles away from the target. Saar. Read the pass well and cuts it out. So far. Kudus. Pakita. He'll take this on, and it's offside here. Dejan Kulisevsky. Lucas Paquetar, and the referee blows for...
to my life Just like another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's oh, surely nicely blocked. Emerson. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Johnny Evans plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack and a look at the West Ham 11 Alphonse Areola between the posts Vladimir Tsofal starts with Emerson in the fullback positions Edson Alvarez plays alongside Tomasz Socek in the centre of midfield and in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. And tremendous individual skill. Shaw. And defensive play to be applauded. Opportunity to take the lead. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And taken short. Evans. Now with Casimiro. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Kudus. And West Ham in a position of menace. Manchester United recovering possession well.
Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Lucas Paqueta. That's a good-looking ball. Not a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And Manchester United might be able to profit here. Corner it is. Has to clear his lines. Lucas Paqueta. Vladimir Tsofal. Mohamed Kudus. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Well, they've given him too much space. Kudus. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Lucas Paqueta. Oh, he's gone for goal. But into the keeper's gloves. It's a weighted pass. Timely intervention. Superb effort to keep it in. Emerson. In possession, Bowen. Encouraging move from West Ham. Oh, that's a fine save. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, it came to nothing in the end. So, no more. T and so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And it's United's turn now. Kurt Zuma. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Oh, genuine chance. A goal! 1-0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Good tackle. Oh, managing to beat him. Able to get a body in the way. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Brilliant piece of skill. Well, using the space really well. But now can they push on? Has eyes for goal! But the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially. Wasn't a great piece of passing. More than decent, this, from United. He takes aim, and danger still. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Well, it seems like only a matter of time before United get the equaliser. That was a great piece of goalkeeping. And West Ham have possession again. Advantage, Manchester United. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a very good challenge. Tomasz Socek.
shot attempted and that wasn't a million miles away almost the equaliser well it's not a bad effort is it but they've got to find a way back into this one and there to intervene and into the last 15 minutes of action well just listen to these United fans they're certainly driving their team forward here shot blocked but still alive and a goal here just what Manchester United required they are level Kurt Zuma on the ball Mavropanos and he read it well intercepting it Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments can they find a winner and the keeper taking care of the situation Kurt Zuma it's with Emerson Ward-Prowse and it comes down to the final five minutes Kudus in possession Bowen how far from the ideal pass you've got to say Jared Bowen well the electronic board showing one additional minute a nice ball over the top and there's the whistle all even at the end of 90 
castle, a modern-day rarity as a stadium that's almost right in the city centre. I'm Guy Mowbray. Alongside me is the former England striker Sue Smith. And it's all about the Premier League here. It's Newcastle United and they face West Ham United. Yeah, thanks as always, Guy. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticip Has to be. Crucial defending. Something different from the corner. And a cross that could be dangerous. It's only halfway clear. And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. Delivered into the box. Oh, that's sloppy play. Looking for the angle. Ball taken away from them. Well, he's a player that many have been talking about. Will we be talking about him for the... Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising-looking attack. They take it short. It came off the defender. Corner. Bruno Gimaraz. Oh, it's a penalty. This for 1 0. And it's in. A show of composure from 12 yards out. Thomas Socek. An attack of genuine promise developing but able to deal with the danger decisively, well defended. Well, a bit of a clumsy challenge, and the ref blows for a free kick. Moving forward well. With the chance here. Well read to gain possession. Options available in the middle. The chance yet to appear. And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Emerson. And getting into a good position. And that's a shame for them, nothing doing. He's beaten his marker here. The ref allowing play to continue. Genuine chance. No, that's heroic. Brilliant work. Go in. Almiron. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Nicely played through. Miguel Almiron. An attack of genuine promise now. Good work to recover possession. There's a chance for the breakaway here. Promising looking ball. Pushing nicely upfield here. And away, they've got it clear. Making good progress here. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Kudus. Jared Bowen. Played through nicely. What a chance here. It's in. Oh, they needed that. And they're not out of this game yet. The ball is rolling and the second half is underway.
looking to put the cross in. Decent chance, this. It didn't have to be much closer. Yeah, that was really close. It's not a bad effort. If they get another one, I'm sure they'll finish it off. Goes on past the defender. It's in! And of course it's in! It's a masterclass in finishing to complete his hat-trick. Thomas Socek. Mohamed Kudus. And they've lost it now. Still going here, but that's good defending, well won. Konstantinos Mavropanos. And in the end, no trouble at all for the goalkeeper. Kudus. Lord Prowse. It's on for the shot! And the goalkeeper has that and keeps it in his grasp. Wilson. They need to be better on the ball than that. Still trying to find the space. But able to deal with the danger decisively. Well defended. Very quick to close down. Emerson. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. Bowen. Untidy in possession there. Ward Browse. And ready for it coming his way. Gimaraes. Wilson. Sean Longstaff. Promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. Oh, the beautiful game very much on display. Has the space to whip it in here. Gimaraj. It might still happen. And that's a shame for them as the move breaks down. We'll have to think quickly here. Zuma. Lucas Paquetar, Socek, Kudus, Sofal, from a long way out, but well watched by the goalkeeper, and not one for the highlights. Gimaraes, read the pass well, and cuts it out.